Hello! Thank you for tuning in to this week's reads. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them, of course. That being said, for the main part of the read, I'm using Gilded Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti. Chiro Marchetti. And the text is by Barbara Moore. If you need to freeze frame to see the spelling, I understand, definitely. <laughs> Uh, I knew the website a minute ago, and my brain said, forget that information. Um, I want to say it's Llewellyn.com. Here, I'll just show it to you. It's there at the bottom, I just can't read it at the moment, so hopefully it's focusing on camera. If we get a little closer, it gives you some social media links too, so feel free to check that out. I want to say it's Llewellyn, I could be wrong. Um... Oracle cards, spellcasting oracle cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. That's how you spell their names. Website on the back that I always notice is shewhoisart.com. Feel free to check that out if you would like to. I think there's a couple other ones on there too, so I'll move it up so you can see anything you want to see. And I use dice. I use a 22-sided dice for the major arcana. I substitute 22 for 0 for the fool. And then I have a 14-sided dice for the minor arcana and a 4-sided dice to choose the element to match up with the minor arcana. Uh, that's they're from here. The math, I think it's mathartfun.com. Hopefully you can see that website if you want to. I think it's mathartfun.com. Alright. That being said, if you would like a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and let's get into your reading. Hello, Aquarius. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Aquarius? The Two of Swords. Okay. We're going to do them all face down. Why not? Why not? Let's see what happens. So it's like, is the whole thing a mystery? Is that what the thing is? <laughs> is that what we're doing? So, there's a block. That's the first thing that popped out. The Two of Swords. So, we'll see what's going on. So, we're starting right out in the sense of, like, there's a block, but think it's serving you for the moment. For the right now, it's a block. Things aren't really changing. Things aren't really moving. For the moment, it's serving you, just for the moment. The next card that's very much coming in is the Possibilities card. Seven of Cups. Can talk about dreams, fantasies, stuff like that. But I'm getting a lot of possibilities are starting to come forward because you're stuck. Even though things are okay right now, it's giving you a lot of ideas. So what is this situation built from? The fact that these are all face down is something. Um, I'm just going to flip a couple of them. I'm feeling that need. <sighs> you are trying to figure out what's really going on here. Um, there's, there's a heartfelt connection here could be family, doesn't have to be. It could be work if the people you work with you like. Could be. Uh, it could be one of those things where you're like, oh, I've done that before. Uh, I see where this is going. You could have one of those moments, kind of like, yeah, I've done that. I see where they're going. Mm, I don't think that's a good idea. Definitely have the compassion card there with the, uh, the hermit card. I feel like I'm not trying to change it. I'm not trying to release the block. One of the reasons I might not be trying to is because I'm like, oh, this, that's going to hurt. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, that Band-Aid has to come off and it's going to hurt. You could rip it off fast, but you're still going to feel it. it. could be one of those moments. I feel like I'm trying to stay back. I'm trying to stay out of it. And I'm learning more as I keep going. Um, I don't feel like right now it's a good time for me to move. I don't feel like I want to make this worse for anybody else. For some reason, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I feel like I can understand. Like, yeah, I've been there. I've been there, and I'm just going to let them solve it themselves because it, it's not going to be fun getting out of that mess. It's not going to be fun. What are you learning about the past? Somebody was overconfident. Somebody was overconfident? I keep feeling like somebody was overconfident. The two of those cards together. Seven of Swords reversed. And the Hanged Man again.
somebody was overconfident that they could keep this situation where they wanted to indefinitely. Um, it's almost like, I feel like, it's almost like, you know, I sabotage somebody's car so they can't leave me. It feels like that, which is kind of weird. Um, that's how this feels to me. Kind of like, well, if they, if they don't have a car to leave, they can't go. They can't take their stuff, so they're going to stay here with me. It does feel a little toxic like that. That's more than a little toxic, obviously. But um, it feel, that's the energy and Im Im images I'm getting. Like somebody playing messed up games just to keep somebody in their life. So it does feel like somebody's been playing messed up games to keep somebody close, to keep somebody around, to keep somebody in that energy where they feel like they have to stay, they have to stay. And somebody thought that they could in indefinitely play this game. That's not good. That's not good. I don't I don't feel like you're you're, you know, identifying with that energy. You might be more identifying with the other side in the sense of like maybe you've gone through situations where you you thought you had to stay in it. You thought that this is how I have to do it. Somebody else maybe manipulated you and you played into the game for a while until you're like, you know what? No. No, I don't. Um, and maybe that's who you have compassion for, the person that's being manipulated. Even though uh, Aquarius is very smart, clearly, and usually can figure things out, sometimes you feel like you're painted into a corner yourself and it takes you a while to realize, all right, this is a problem. I need to find a way out of this. What do I need to do to get out of this? Because I'll do what I need to do. Um, Aquarius, usually, like, you can usually think your way out of a problem. It's not so much about finding the way out. It's more about having the conviction to go, all right, this is going to happen. Do I want that to happen? Type thing. Um, I think that's who you have compassion for. Somebody that's being manipulated. So... Are you, and you're still not, I don't see you being a part of that just yet. Because, again, the situation is going to be rough. It's time to rip that band-aid off. It's time to make this change. It's hard for some people to see the truth about somebody else that they either love or have loved. Usually it's current love. Um, I can think of a handful of people that, like, they just can't see the truth of a person because if they do, it it kind of makes them look back at their own life and the connections they've had with that person and it changes the whole landscape. It changes the whole landscape. It's very hard for some some people. Um, maybe you see that angle too, kind of like, yeah, it's rough when you see somebody for who they really are versus who you wanted them to be, who you believed they were. Okay, so there's a lot of like face down cards here. Okay, so the end is coming for this situation for this person. The end of the problems. Um, it's ending, and I feel like it's very... This person, I feel like they've been in it for a long time. It's hard for them to, like... This is hard. Even though their situation is improving, they're, it's almost like whoever was manipulating them isn't around anymore. We're just gonna, They're gone. And you see this happening. This is this is coming. It's happening. The per person who's been manipulating them is gone for one way, one way or another. And I feel like the hard part with this is like they're going to have this need to hold on to that past pattern. Um. How are you? Okay. What what's your influence here? What is your influence? They're going to have that need to hold on to that pattern. We don't really like that, obviously. Four of Pentacles, half in, half out, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. All right, so Aquarius is, you know, you're smart, but you also get people to think. You know how to get people to think. Um, you can come at a situation at an angle that people don't realize that you're getting them to consider an option that they're afraid to consider. You, you can get people to think as much as, you know, you can get people to think. I don't know how else to say it. Not everybody can do that. You know what I mean? You know how to enter a conversation just right 
and you can almost like I give analogies a lot. It's kind of like you give analogies or you get ahead of the situation, saying if x plus b equals c, then this, that, and that. And in this situation, would you say you were playing b? What would a have been? So if that person's a and you were playing b, what would c be? And I feel like you know how to do this to get people like before they know it, they've already considered it, and you've kind of like showed them like. You know, you don't have a way to go into a conversation. They're saying, be careful with that, but definitely you want to, this person means something to you. If this reading is hitting, I feel like it stresses you and you want to make a difference and you want, you want to change things here, but you don't want to make it worse for somebody. And I feel like that's extremely important. Like, yeah, I can get them to think, but I can also break people. Um, I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt. They're saying, go into it. Go into it. Maybe with kid gloves if you feel like that's what's necessary. But, like, do it. It's kind of like, you know, <laughs> I do this. And it, to me, I think it's benign, but it's interesting how many people it upsets. Because it's really, it doesn't seem like it's that important, but it does upset people. So, for example, if you get a little tub of yellow, and you get a little tub of magenta, and you mix it in front of somebody, it will become red. And then you think it's not that big a deal, but then you're like, what's the definition of a primary color? You can't mix two colors to make it. And I just did that. So is red really a primary color? You think it's not that big a deal, but it's just like, I use it to just like show people. Like you think one thing's true, you, you get more information, you realize that's not true. People get really bent out of shape over that one. <laughs> it's just interesting to me um, how people get really bent out of shape. So like if you go into it with kid gloves and give them some time to germinate with it, it, it is good. Like, you know how to do it. You know how to make this happen. What is your outcome for this situation? Ooh. This person is ready to move forward. They're stronger than you think. Okay, good. Um, that might be a little bit of this. You might be underestimating this, the strength of this person because of everything they've gone through. And you're like, I don't know if they could handle any anymore. You going into it with the like kids' gloves doesn't have to mean that you're not talking about the hard-hitting facts. It could just be you're being very kind about how you're talking about it. You're talking about it to their advantage and stuff like that. You're just being very kind about it. Because I'm ironically getting like this... This to me is a full moon energy. The, um, the lovers and temperance... Lovers sometimes talks about Gemini energy. The temperance cards sometimes talk about Sagittarius energy. You actually get along with both of these energies. Um, when these are together, like, like when the sun is in one, the moon is in the moon is in the other. That's a full moon energy. That's why I'm getting that. This could be like a shock. This could be a flip that you weren't expecting. This person knew this was coming forward. This person kind of has already been de dealing with it. Just for some reason, they haven't been bringing it forward. It's almost like they've been dealing with it internally. They just didn't want to say it out loud because if they say it out loud, then it's real. You know how people go through that phase. Like, I don't want to say it out loud because if I say it out loud, it's real. Not that the sense that that, you know what I mean. I feel like you get it. I feel like you get what I'm saying. Like, once they say it out loud, they can't go back. They, they're addressing it. They're dealing with it. And they can't pretend like it's not real anymore. Um, a lot is coming forward from this person. They need somebody to kind of like give them, almost give them permission to acknowledge what they already kind of know is true. They just don't want to acknowledge it. Um because I get once they're on their path, they will move forward. They know that this is the case. They just need somebody to come forward with a kind voice to get around their defenses and be like, listen, I know this is true. You know this is true. Let's just deal with this. Um, this, I, this is a great tower moment in the sense of like, it leads to like release. It leads to happiness. It's kind of like, it doesn't mean everything's fixed in five seconds. I feel like you know that. So I don't want to like play it off like, oh, look, we dealt with it. Look, sunshine rainbows. No, I'm not saying that. But this is like the breath of fresh air, kind of like now that we've dealt with that, we've dealt with the elephant in the room, now we can start healing, truly healing. Wasn't the healing card out here somewhere? Did I imagine that? Maybe I did. I thought the healing card was out here. Maybe not. Um, now we can truly move towards the healing, the real healing, the healing that actually can make a difference. Uh, there may be some random movements forward, but there's definitely success coming out. They're going to have to talk about it. They're going to have to work through it. There's definitely some mediation that has to go through this. They might have to work out, work on their own emotions with what they've really gone through and how they really feel about that. Therapy is probably going to be a very helpful tool here. 
but it's like this stepping forward in the sense of like we're finally going in a direction that's healthy for them that they can have that beautiful life that they can have the life that they actually want and they feel in control of it's it's more of a first step but that's a very beautiful first step you know what I'm saying so if this reading is hitting I'm getting this subject mean something to you so hopefully that's helpful and I feel like the reason it's coming forward is like for this to move forward the way you want it to they're like when your moment comes definitely bring up the subject do it with kid gloves you know how to be kind to people and still get people to address the truth you know how to do it sometimes it's more of a challenge with certain people than others but you could definitely do it all right i'm gonna shut this down here hope that helps thank you for watching if you'd like a direct reading from me shoot me an email james for at gmail.com that's james the number four astral at gmail.com if you're interested in the donation information that's below same email thank you very much for watching and have a great day